Do you have any tales of the wilds? None of the sort you like. No princesses in tall towers or knights throwing themselves at whole armies. That's not all I like. Do you want tales of the chastened wilders who dwell in the marsh? Do you want to hear of the slow deaths they inflict on their enemies? Perhaps a tale of the poisonous creatures of the wilds that lay their eggs on your skin so their young may eat you alive when hatched? Or a tale of my mother's marsh cuisine? That, in my opinion, is the most terrifying of all my tales. Uh, no, I don't want to hear about those things. Then I have no tales for you. Welcome to what will soon be Orzammar's first chantry. The chant of light will reach all corners of the world. We will never forget who made this possible. I will, uh, see what I can do. Maker, preserve you. Maker, turn his gaze on you. Back to buy something, I hope. I'll take your gold. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Oh. Well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And they'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same, well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. What do you want? Uh, I know who you are. That castless whelp who ran off to become a warden. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Power-hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. What's it matter to you, huh? Huh. <laughs> you trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? 
I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? Aye, of course. I'm her bleeding husband, aren't I? She left me here and took our entire house when she left. Is that what you're looking for? Well, there it is. Fine. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. Sod off, Duster. All right. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to... I'm... Warden? Did you have something more? I... Blast it. Blast and damnation. Of all yes, the... 
Yes. Yes. What is it? Did you have something more pleasant? I'm Horse feathers. Vashadan. Yes. Indeed.
pigeon crap. Indeed. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because you never... Right! You know, I've heard about the Orlesian bards. Who hasn't? They are quite famous, after all. The stories I heard were a little racier. It had to do with how a bard assassinated her target. How they were lulled into complacency. If those stories were true, who would ever agree to entertain a bard in their court? Oh, I don't know. There's a certain allure to danger, isn't there? And besides, you couldn't all be assassins, could you? I'd take my chances. If the stories were true, that is. We had rules about that sort of thing. Strict rules. Such as? You're not going to tell me, are you? Let's just say I had plenty of reasons to join the Chantry, shall we? And leave it at that. Watch for Pio Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. Better believe I saw your victory last year. Nice one. Name's Varric. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old Roost and Tig. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. 
Me? Are you out of your mind? I'm a miner, not a warrior. They change from round to round. Sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? Well, that sounded genuine. Um, if you weren't looking for me, do me a favor and pretend I never said anything. So I take it you weren't sent here to find out if I withdrew from the Proving. In that case, never mind. Oh, don't put it that way. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. She's married to a prominent Desher's heir. We should have stopped a long time ago, but... I love her. Do you know what that's like? Now Balin found out, and I can't even help my cousin for fear he'll tell her husband. They have letters. Love letters Revelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. N no One of his fighters, a woman named Miyaja, she's the one who threatened to expose me. There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. You do that? I don't know how to thank you. I... I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. If you can make sure that evidence doesn't get out, I'd be happy to fight in the proving. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts.
This deal was all their making, Warden. Technically, I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few coins. Not that I'm suggesting anything, but you're holding the prize now. I have a collector in mind. Who actually sells the item doesn't matter. It's your call. As always, I let people make their own decisions. Sensible. I think you'll find that gold is a fine remedy for whatever outrage the Shaper it might have imparted. Pleasure doing business with you. Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. They're an order of female warriors, founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The women who join her order cut out their tongues in her honor. I am Ferindin. I serve as Hanashan's trainer and translator. As a silent sister, Hanashan cut out her tongue like the ancient paragon, Astith the Grey. As you might imagine, she requires my services for more mundane tasks. The silent sisters support the sitting king. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. May the Ancestors choose their champion wisely. You looking at something? Get out of here! Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the Provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, if you were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. Assembly restricted, not illegal. All that ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us prefer an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating, and all that talking gets in the way. Say the word and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. They don't often get a chance to test themselves in the provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. The younger houses are interested in unorthodox tactics. Many hire mercenaries to augment traditional strengths. Anything goes is a fair description. We give small payouts. Maybe a bonus from time to time, but this isn't about money. It's about skill and the chance to show it. We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult, I assure you. Let's 
finished. Begin the onslaught. Point me. Good job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. The younger houses are interested in... We give small payouts. Maybe... I'll be here. Ready for some unofficial training opportunity? We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult, I assure you. Time for more practice! I shall do it. Good job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. I'll be... Oh, nothing like a brush with death to make you not like death much. Ready for some unofficial training opportunities? I'll be here. Ready for some unofficial training opportunities? We've got some young fighters ready to... Now let's... Let's see, which one first? <laughs> let's do this again.
Direct me. Take a nap. Oh, that. Good job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. Here I am. As you wish. Ready for some unofficial training opportunities? We've got some young fighters ready to go. Time for more practice! <laughs> Taught our fighters some valuable lessons. It will take some time before they are ready to challenge you again. Take this with my thanks. What are you doing here? They've kept all castless off the ground since that Grey Warden fiasco. Was. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. It lets Harriman save face by bowing to the Ancestor's decision when he loses. But how do you think it looks for the men who support him? I'd back Harriman as he asked, but if he's giving up, I won't sacrifice my family so he can retire with dignity. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? I, uh, 
I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... No, you're right. I owe Lord Haramont more than that. going. This area is off limits. Combatants only. Is that an accusation? It's illegal to threaten proving fighters outside the ring. Not helping them keep their dirty secrets, though. That's another story. I bet you would. Just tell Beisel Harriman to fight. Then you'll see them. On the front page of a broadsheet. Come on, Luke John. We have a fight to prepare for. You are quickly overstepping your welcome. Guards, remove this intruder. Guards, remove this intruder. Guards, remove this intruder. Go away. I don't talk to admirers until after the fight. Ready for some unofficial... Ready for some un- I shall do it. Ready for some... And for more practice! Too fast for you! Uh. 
Take that. Good job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Ready for some unofficial training? We've got some young fighters ready to go. some valuable lessons. It will take some time before they are ready to challenge you again. Take this with my thanks. What are you doing here? They've kept all castless off the ground since that Grey Warden fiasco. Name's Guidon. And Thalen called this whole proving to let his lordship say fake. I'd back Harriman as he had. Oh? If I find out, this whole thing will... to admirers until after the fight. Guards, remove this intruder.
This area is off limits. Combatants only. You want to talk? Enter the Proving. I speak with my blades. The Proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. You have them? If you can keep those letters from the public eye, I would gladly gift you with a finder's fee. Say, ten sovereigns? I certainly can't argue with that logic. Here you are. Now pardon me, there's little time left to rejoin the Proving. Thank you again, friend. Oh, it's you. What are you doing back here? Did the Wardens realize their mistake and throw you back? Being a Warden isn't good enough. Now you have to worm your way into the highest ranks of society. Never mind. It's your right, I suppose. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? I'll just call you Grey Warden, then, and avoid us both some embarrassment. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Looks like Suwern's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at twelve years old. All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? Fight start at the gong and go to first blood. No eye gouging, no groin pulls. The rules of each bout will be announced when it starts. You should be comfortable with normal weapons and lyrium enhanced weapons in single combat, pairs, or battle units. Are you ready to start? That's what I like to hear. I will warn you though, this is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Come back soon. You'll be fighting the bout as soon as both fighters are ready. Didn't I say I need to concentrate? There's plenty of time to congratulate me after the fight. So you're the Grey Warden? It's an honor, really a privilege. You hear so much about the Wardens. They say on the surface, they're the only ones who fight Darkspawn, and everyone hails them as heroes, and... Uh, are you taking recruits? A blight? Then that must mean you want recruits. I bet you're here to pick the best fighters. Am I right? If that's true, it must be because of the King. Believe me, Dwarves know their duty in regards to Darkspawn. I promise, as soon as Balin's on the throne, you'll have as big an army as you need. Then may our fight honor Prince Balin. So you're the Grey Warden Lord Harriman brought in to replace his missing fighters? If you're trying to insult me with my loyalty to my house, you'll find it's a tough road to hew. There is no greater virtue than family loyalty. But I'd hardly expect a surfacer to know that. You must be the Grey Warden. Luke John said one of you signed up. They said the Warden's here to fight for Haramon. I guess we'll have to show what kind of tricks we learn in Orzammar. We were born together. We fight together. We'll die together. The Ancestors gave us one soul, but two bodies. Everything we do, we do together. 
That's a little personal, don't you think? Unless you want to find out. We know plenty. But we don't like to share. Watch out for Darvionic, though. They say he killed his brother. But the ancestors favored him in the ring, so he never saw punishment. Good, you're back. I was about to start looking for you. Are you ready to fight? Remember, once the fight begins, the roster is final. No new additions are accepted, and all withdrawals are marked as losses. Good. Are you Remember, once the fight begins, the roster is... F Looks like Suwern's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at 12 years old. All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the Ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him, in Lord Heramot's name, is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Idukan, and our future King Balin! First warrior to fall is vanquished! Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! That was an exciting start, Warden. Suwern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Next, you're up against Miyaja and Lukjan. As twins, they've always been allowed to fight as a single person. They're warrior cast, but their mother was a smith, so watch out for Miyaja's hammer. And don't forget Luke John. Most fighters do, and end up with a knife in their spine. Are you ready to begin? All right then, I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior cast twin terrors now fighting for Prince Balan, Miaja, and Luke John. May the stone honor you when you fall. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this quick, oh. shall we? The winner is the Grey Warden! Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Well, this bout should be quick and dirty. You'll be fighting Hanashan, one of the legendary Silent Sisters. She's a ferocious fighter, and dedicated enough to cut out her own tongue. Are you ready to begin? All right then, I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving! 
fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Paramount's champion has held the field so far, but how will he do against one of the legendary Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Behind you. <laughs> oh, look, you want to fight. <laughs> the winner is the Grey Warden. Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sisters' support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? This should be a good match. You'll battle Wojak Ivo, master of all weapons, prisoner of none. He makes it a point never to use the same technique twice. Are you ready to begin? All right then, I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat. Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Wojak Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Wojak Ivo and Valans. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! For Prince Balin! Oh, how amusing. Oh, time to play. How bad? Oh. The winner is the Grey Warden! Wojak Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Haramont picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? This is the championship round. A full squad-on-squad -squad combat. Piot Naidukan leads the same team he's taken to victory in over a dozen Deep Roads expeditions. Are you ready to face the final test? May the ancestors choose wisely. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Balin, Piotan Idukan has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Haramont, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Idukin. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight!
Right away. Let's do this quickly, oh. shall we? Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of My Army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving. 
who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. Spoken like a true warrior! You showed him. The ancestors are smiling on Lord Haramont today. Tell me. When my arm heals, you watch out, Duster. Ancestors, watch over your path. We have nothing to talk about, Warden. I haven't done a thing. Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. Congratulations and well fought. My cousin was wise to choose you. That was an excellent showing. It seems your uncanny luck still holds. I can't believe it! The ancestors came out of the sodding ground to kiss your feet, Duster! That was a good fight. Miyaja learned a lot from you. So did Luke, John. Your victory means nothing. The Assembly knows better than to base its vote on one proving. Uh, let me know when you're recruiting for that army. What was that soup you made for supper last night? Oh, that? That's a traditional Ferelden lamb and pea stew. Do you like it? Oh, so it was lamb then. It had a certain texture I don't normally associate with lamb. They didn't make lamb and pea stew for you in Lothering? We ate simply there. Whole grains made into biscuits or bread, and vegetables from the garden, cooked lightly. No heavy stews. Ah, so the last lamb you had was probably cooked all lesion style. Food shouldn't be freely and pretentious like that. Now, here in Ferelden, we do things right. We take our ingredients, throw them in the largest pot we can find, and cook them for as long as possible until everything is a uniform grey colour. As soon as it looks completely bland and unappetizing, that's when I know it's done. You're having me on. <laughs> you need to eat in more Ferelden inns. Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the Proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Beisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Haramont will see you now. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. I appreciate what you have done, Warden, and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyral Harrowmont, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. 
Endrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Endrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. Balin resents me because I did not believe his setup. I wanted a full investigation, a trial, not this knee-jerk reaction. It speaks poorly of Balin that Endrin himself was the first to think that he should not be trusted. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? You would know better than I the many ways the castless hide from authorities in Dust Town. I hoped you might still have old contacts who could help dig out Jarvia. Your sister, I see. This is new to me. What happens to her is more House Iduken's concern than my own. But I promise no harm will come to her by my doing. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Javia in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. I must confess I didn't expect you back so soon. I've heard nothing of Dust Town. Did you find Jarvia? They are far more likely to listen if we have something positive to present. Something like the end of Javia. And her carter. Her lair is in Dust Town, the bottommost level of the city where castless and criminals hide. You probably know more than I ever will. Is there no one left you could ask? I've already hinted to the Assembly that I might have a big announcement soon. His Lordship appreciates your support. News of the hour, Lord Haramont, proven to be working with surfacers. His betrayal of Dwarven... Haramont has... Yes. Sucker the Warden. Balin will not allow it. You're awfully bold, walking right up to me after coming out against Prince Balin and the Proving. 
You do know who I am, right? I'm Vartak Gavorn, the Prince's chief advisor. Explain what? That you just realized what a puling imbecile Haramad is, and want to throw your lot in with a winner? Hmm, I see your point. Had you come to us first, Haramont would have suspected you. But now, he has no reason to think you're anything other than his champion. On the proving grounds and off. Are you saying you'd infiltrate his ranks for us? Let the Prince know what's happening on the inside? Oh, you're the one the lovely Rika is always talking about. He'd be insulted, you even asked. Rika is the mother of his son, of course he'll take care of her. What he thinks of you may be another story. If you really want Balin's trust, you'll have to prove your loyalty to Haramont is just an act. What has he asked you to do next? Hmm, that's a good plan. If he can claim credit for stopping the Carter, Haramont will be in Golden with a lot of Deshers. It's a little odd, though, given his associations with Dust Town smugglers. No, that won't be necessary. Let Haramont claim he was behind it. It will be hard enough to believe him when I have solid evidence his cousin supplies the Kata with their lyrium. These papers show ties between the Carta and young Harville Haramont. If you ensure they are found in Jarvia's possession, I guarantee the Prince will want to talk to you. And don't bother looking for Lord Helmy and Lady Dace. This is a far better way to prove your worth. Warden, I'm afraid the Assembly is still locked in debate. What can I do for you? Well, Heromont's still holding his main supporters, but the whole Helmy house just turned against him. It's still up in the air, though. One big surprise, and it could go either way. Warden, I'm afraid the Assembly is still locked in debate. What can I do for you? I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. I only wish there was more I could do for you. I can't believe you went and fought approving. Approving! For that wretched Haramont! And I told Balin we could trust you. And I'm off. I can't believe we lost a tome to thievery. I am disgusted with the times we live in. Ah, you return, Warden. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? Your presence has been recorded in the memories. I wish you well. News of the hour! Lord Haramont, unable to win own battle. News of the hour! Lord Haramont endorsed by the Honorable Grey Warden. Lord...
Now let's see. Paramount. Which Attack one first? Attack for You're back. You got more business for me? Enough to know she don't fancy strangers asking questions. Her base goes everywhere in Orzammar. You cross her or even talk bad, your bones end up in the lava. Could be, if 30 silver came my way, I might know a bit. Fine. Only Jarvia's men knew all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. They go up to what look like bare walls, and poof! Gone! Like there's a secret door! There's one just across the way. Watch long enough, and you'll see. Now you owe me 30 silver. Pleasure doing business. Now you want to buy something, or are we done? Of course.
Well, chew me up and swallow me whole. I never thought I'd see you back here. What happened, Duster? You miss getting spit on? Where else would I go? Just because you and Rika managed to find a vein doesn't make anything different for the rest of us. You're a warden, but I'm still a brand. And Dust Town's my home. So what are you doing here? Not crawling back to die in the deep roads yet, right? A king is a king is a king. None of them will give two lumps of coal for what happens here, right? Jarvia didn't waste a day. Apparently killing all possible competitors was her way of mourning. She made some kind of deal with Barat's family topside, claimed to be his wife, kept the whole lyrium trade flowing. But Endrin's death really opened new ground. All of a sudden, guardsmen were all busy in the Diamond Quarter. Jarvia moved right in. Stone, no. You think Jarvie would give me a hug and a kiss for taking down her lover? We even talked about taking over when he was gone. You think she can't smell that? So, seriously, Duster, why are you here? So, now you're doing Haramont's dirty work. Is that part of your duties as a warden? I hear you, Selraka. Look, she'd kill me if she knew I know this. But after Balin took Rika up city, the Carta laid claim to your old home. They put a back entrance in. It just goes to some storage tunnels, but there's probably a way into Barat's old estate from there. Now I better get out of here before anyone sees us together, but, uh, tell me how it turns out. Just can't get enough, huh? You got a free ride out of here, Duster. Why do you keep coming back? Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these fingerbone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, You'd never know it was there. Can't help you there, Selraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. But that's worth something, right? Maybe just a little... I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. going well look what we have here Javier said you were looking for trouble congratulations you found it ha! Ancestors, what do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. I was just doing what Lesky asked, said Jarvia gave the word to make sure you never left. He told us he'd get you here. All we had to do was take you out. You don't disobey Lesky, you know. He's Jarvia's top man. The base is below the city. You... Uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? No! Oh! Let's 
do this. Shaman. I'm off. Yes. Let's end this. And I'm off. Oh. A bit more dark. May him be praised. Hmm. What's the password? Looks like we have a martyr, boys. Now let's... Z. Which right. one first? Don't look now. Now. All right.
You can. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, save save some dignity. Oh. Yeah, that's right. What ah. did I tell you? Oh. Oh. Ah. All right. Ah. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh. going. together.
tell me. Hmm? Yes. Crap. So simple to see. Really.
Don't look now. Yes. Hmm. Yes. As you wish. Let's have at it! So be it. Cross me and you shall pay! I see. <laughs> I think we work well together. I'm off. Look over there. <laughs> Run yes. while you can. I think we work well together. Crap. So simple to see, really. Don't oh. look now. Oh. Going. I'm off.
I should do it. For more practice, hurry. Oh, okay. I tried to be merciful. Here comes drama. It's your time to shine! I'm off. Going. All right. Yes.
If it isn't our little runaway, come back to finish the job? When you taste my steel, think of Barat. Even in death, he has his vengeance. So simple to see. Really. Wear your pretty, pretty right teeth away. around my wrist. I think we work well together. I'm going to wear your pretty, pretty teeth around my, my wrist. How about you then? Feeling that for several days to come. 
Your word? And I'm off. All right. All the beards of my ancestors! How did you... Where did you come from? You, you made a hole in my wall! No! I don't have anything to do with them! They're criminals! When they built this part of the city, they must have built over some tunnels! I swear, I had no idea! Oh, just leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with this. And if anyone comes asking, I'm gonna tell him you get it! I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because you... Right! Best...
Yes. All be aware that the Grey Wardens have a lot of Romont. Be not afraid to follow. His Lordship appreciates your support. Again, Balin seems to be one step ahead. I thank you for helping me remove Jarvia. But it seems Balin spread rumors that it was I who raised her in the first place. To help with your troops, I will require your assistance one last time. Do you know anything of the Paragon Bronca? Two years ago, she took her entire house into the deep roads on a mad quest to uncover ancient secrets. No one's heard from her since. Were she to return and endorse someone for the throne, the Assembly would be honor-bound to accept her wishes. Her entire house went with her. It would take a lot to kill so many. If not, bringing proof of her death, or a body to return to the stone, would still show that as an ancestor it was my hand she guided to her remains. It's hard to say what she would do. She wasn't exactly known for her predictability. She never seemed to like being a paragon. She was devoted to her craft, never cared for politics. But one of the most brilliant minds Orzama has seen. Bronca hated Darkspawn with a passion. She would certainly be a valuable voice to support your treaty. My men traced Branca's disappearance to an ancient crossroads known as Caradin's Cross. It is many miles below where we normally venture, but I can provide a map to lead you there. Just enter the deep roads through the mines. Thank you again, and may the ancestors guide your steps. The vote is soon and the deep roads long. I would leave now if you're going. Grey Wardens endorse paralyzing Orzammar's military. Lord Balin issues clear edict. All be aware that the Grey Wardens have aligned with Lord Harrowmont. Be not afraid. Rumors of Grey Warden mass recruitment of castless circulating the commons. Is Lord Harrowmont getting rid of the unwanted?
Well, I hear someone tore through Dust Town like a headsman's axe. And it's already whispered that House Haramont had ties to the smugglers. I assume that was you? Then you've certainly proven yourself. Are you ready to meet Balin now? I'm going to assume that wasn't sarcasm. I warn you, be on your best behavior, and keep your weapons sheathed. So, despite your rather public show of support for my rival, Varteg tells me you understand who is to be king. Rika will be glad you've finally come around. So what brought about this change of heart? Your familial devotion is touching, but that's not the whole story, is it? You need someone strong on the throne to raise an army against the Blight. I can be that man, but you've already damaged my ability to secure the throne. That would do little good now, except to paint you as the turncoat you are. Exposing Heromont's connections to Jarvia has definitely hurt his chances, but I will need something big, something dramatic enough to put me over the edge. What do you know of the Paragon Bronca? She is the only Paragon in four generations, and she turned her back on her responsibilities. A Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone with her support could take the throne unchallenged. I was hoping you could use your legendary charm to persuade her that the rightful king should take the throne. However, if the deep roads have addled her wits, it might be best she not return before the kingship is decided. I did not know her personally. Two years ago, I was still considered a child, not one to consort with Orzammar's finest. From what I hear, her intellect was unrivaled, but the social graces were beneath the notice of one so gifted. I was hoping you could use your legendary charm. However, if the deep roads have addled her wits, it might be best she not She had an entire house with her, dedicated to her protection. With the number of ruins still intact, they could last for a long time. And Haramont is looking as well. It's too risky to assume she's dead only to have him take credit for finding her. Then we will both go down in history as a Paragon's saviors. So far, my men have traced Branca to Caradon's Cross, an ancient crossroad lost to the Darkspawn four centuries ago. Her trail ends there. Perhaps with your Warden's expertise, you can find what my men could not. You must enter the deep roads through the mines. To protect the city, that's the only path we leave open. Caradon's Cross lies many miles deep into the tunnels. It was once a main thoroughfare, but before Branca, no one had stepped foot there in generations. You have my thanks. Seek her in Caradon's Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. If you would prove yourself, ensure Haramont's men find no trace of Branca in the deep roads. The Prince appreciates your service. Young Prince Endrin is a smart one. Balin told me you're going into the deep roads to look for Bronca. Be careful. I know you're a warden now, but you're still my little brother. And I hate the thought of you getting hurt.
You never did shy away from danger, did you? I know you'll be fine. And you'll come home with Bronca, put my Balin on the throne, and we'll all live together in the palace. Back in Dust Town. Could you ever have imagined saying that? Balin told me you're going into the deep. I know you're a warden now, but you're still my little brother. And I hate the thought of you getting hurt. I thought that might happen. I'm sorry. I know you two had fun together, but Lesky never had your strength. If Jarvia leaned on him, he would have bent to whatever she wanted. That's how he stayed in favor with Barat. But don't dwell on it. One moment's distraction and the Deep Roads could kill you. I will. And you'll come home with Bronca, put my Balin on back in. Well, look at you all fancied up. Did the prince decide he likes boys? Or did you find some other way to bring in coin? Right. Rika told me. Running off to the surface just like your father. Never thought to share a little of that fortune with your mother. I've seen how they look at me. Think I'm gutter trash. Not one of them would let me step foot here if it wasn't for Rika. Precious Rika and her precious little brat. If he chokes on that gold rattle, we'd both be on the street. <laughs> you know what they keep up here? They got wine from the surface. Ale, brandy. They got a whole room of it. And nobody's gonna stop me taking it, because I'm the brat's grandmother. Oh, precious Rika. What's she done besides getting herself knocked up? I had two worthless brats and no one ever gave me the time of day for it. I deserve what she got, and more. And don't you tell me any different. We have more in common than I thought. Both of you putting on airs. Too good to spend any time with your own ma'am. Patient needs a rest. Fools and their politics. The poison was probably imported as a king killer, and she got dosed by mistake. I've never seen anything this potent. It's a very strange toxin. I know there's a counter, but the ingredients are so rare, it just doesn't matter. If you can chase these things down, I'll thank you, but I won't get my hopes up. The stone will take her soon. Orzammar questions Lord Harriman's ability to win the throne without great
Raise your voice in support of Lord Harrowmont, the one true king of Orzammar and our... Have you? I'm, I'm, I'm only asking. Right. Best in the trade, you know. So, what do you think will happen to all those people we left behind in Lothering? Some of them will find their way to Denerim. Many will die, as the Maker wills. Don't you wish you could have stayed there? To help more people, I mean. If the Blight isn't stopped, everyone will die. This is the greater good we're serving, both of us, right here. So it's alright to let some people die for the greater good? I'm... not so sure about that. I felt bad leaving all those people there all panicked and helpless. You're doing what you must, Alistair. There will be worse to come yet. You will need to steal yourself. You know this. I've never been very good at that. The stealing myself part. I find it better sometimes to just be a little weak. I'm all right with that, really. I don't believe you. And either way, it's not as if any of us has a choice. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. Yes, I know. I've had some time to think about it now. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... Well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owed the Arl that much. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? 